Hey, what's up, tubers? This is Superdell, and welcome to my channel. Now, today I ran into a problem on my Plex that kind of got me pissed off today. I didn't know what caused this issue. I thought it was something going on. I thought it was because of an update. But at the end of the day, it was all my fault. Let's go on over to my monitor and let me show you what's going on. So, I already fixed this one, but I'm going to go into animated tunes. All right. And I'm going to click on this All Star Superman. I'm going to click on it. And I'm going to just say start from the beginning. And I get a playback error. All right. To make things worse, let me go back in here into the same folder. Okay. I'm going to try to play, what's this? Barbie. Playback error. I didn't know what was causing this issue. I got very, very, very upset because I added the movie to my Plex and I wanted to watch it off of Plex, okay? And I couldn't. So with that being said, I found a fix for it and um, I'm going to show you guys. Let's go. Okay, tubers, I am back. First off, let me start with this. If you're using an external hard drive to keep your media on, it's very important that you disconnect it the proper way. What I was doing is, I'm going to use this laptop as an example. All right. And what I was doing was plugging it in, unplugging it, plugging it in, unplugging it plugging it in unplug it which I caused the conflict all right I caused this error because you shouldn't be using the USB any type of media or USB um, flash drive or external hard drive you shouldn't be just pulling it out what you should be doing is actually going down here and I'm on Windows 7 and it's a taskbar down here that says show hidden icons and when you go into here it has a bunch of icons but one specifically it has this USB and it's named safely remove hardware and eject media and isn't this our media drive right here so what you do you you supposed to click in here and then click eject whatever the name of the device is Mine's is called Easy Store. Yours might be called Toshiba, uh, Western Digital, whatever. But, you know, uh, you're supposed to eject it from here, all right? And you just click on it, and then it'll say, hey, you can remove your device, all right? Also, you notice this is on the F drive. When I go into here, let me close this out. When I go into my Plex, and I go to these three dots right here, and I go to Get Info. Look at this. It's saying it's on my G drive. I don't even have a G drive. All right. And let me show it to you. All right. Let me go down here to my computer. All right. And here it is right here. All right. It's saying it's a G drive. I, I don't have a G drive. I don't have anything else hooked up to my PC. And it's on my F drive. So that lets me know it's causing a conflict. Now let's fix it okay let me put this down go here I'm gonna go to my animated tune wherever error you know I'm quite sure it's happening on everything I already fixed this one this is one of my bigger folders but I'm gonna go to animated tune I'm gonna go to these three dots and then I'm gonna go to edit just how remember when you first started your Plex you had to go and pick your folder this is the same way so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go click Add Folder, and I'm going to go over here to Browse Media Folder. Very important. I'm going to go to my F drive. Remember, I don't have a G drive. I'm going to go to my F drive, and then I'm going to go to my Animated Tunes. All right. I think this is it. All right, right here. 
and then I'm gonna just click add now over here you see the G Drive let's get rid of it because we don't need it and I'm gonna hit save changes and watch what happened look at that you see all them little red little trash what it's doing is getting rid of all that old content and fixing everything because it's fixing everything on the correct drive it's fixing everything and because this is a small folder you see how quick it was but now if you if I would have went to here it would have took quite a bit of time but because this, I only got what 12 uh, you know videos in here it went quick what I'm gonna do again I'm gonna just go over to the three dots right here and I'm gonna hit scan library again make sure it did its job and now I'm gonna go and click on Superman all right, I can start it from the beginning. It does this little buffer. There we have it. All right, let me stop that because I don't want a copyright strike. And I'm going to do another one. Remember, I tried to click in the Barbie or something like that. Let me click in the Barbie. Let's see if this one works. I think this is the wrong Barbie, but but there it go. So let me let me stop that because I don't want a copyright strike. And you see they came off syncing, right? So that's how you repair your playback error. It could be because you ejected, you know, uh, your external hard drive incorrectly, and um, that's just a quick fix. Now I'm gonna have to go through all of these and do the same thing. All right, the same thing to fix all of them. That way I can watch my content on my other clients. All right, if you like the video, go ahead, click that like button and also share it. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead, click that subscribe button. Also, if you see that bell icon, if you click that, you will get notified anytime I release a video on YouTube. Also, if you want me to try anything out, or if you know a better way to fix content like this, just leave it in the comment area and I will update the video. Appreciate everyone for tuning in. Um, if you have any questions, again, go to TV at gmail.com. TV at gmail.com. Appreciate everyone for tuning in and um, I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.